nature holds hundreds of wonders it has innumerable things that astound us there are so many mysteries of each creature that we are yet to discover from the small little insects dwelling on grounds to the huge mammals living on our land all have their own special ways of life the life beneath the oceans or the rivers is even more full of surprises some of the behavior of these creatures is known to us while the other is yet to be discovered of all the creatures humans have always envied the creatures in flight the birds Research on several aspects of the birds life has always surprised the humans. India holds home to nearly 1200 bird species. Different birds are found in different regions of this country. Amongst the birds found in India, all of them are not the residents of this country. Some of the birds are migratory. They come from other countries in search of food or for a better climate. Like the ruddy shell duck comes from the southeastern Europe and the central parts of Asia. When the winters become harsh and food becomes scarce in their country, these birds are seen to flock in different areas of India. Not only these there are birds within India who migrate from the northern regions to the southern parts of the country this is due to the harsh winters in the northern himalayan areas many of the birds in india do not need to migrate in search of food or a better climate since the area in which they reside provides them with both year round these are called as the resident birds like the cattle egrets parakeets open bill and others Most of the birds are seen continuously in movement. They are either in search of food or they are defining their territories with their songs. Some birds have a very quick digestion system like that in the case of nectar feeders. like that of the sunbirds the food gets digested within several minutes some sparrows can have a complete digestion of the food within an hour or so while some birds can take several hours to complete the digestive process the type of food that the bird needs depends upon its species the bird beaks are definitely supportive to the type of meal they have birds do not have teeth and hence they are seen to swallow their food
Snails are the favorite food of the open bill and hence their beak shape matches it in accordance to help them cut out the shell. A unique fact of these open bill birds is that they cannot produce any sound due to the absence of the vocal cords. Small sized insects often are seen to dwell in the burrows in mud. Birds with longer beaks like the hoopoe bird can dig deep and pull out the worms and other insects from the ground. Every year, a large number of the migratory flamingo birds flock the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra and other such areas. These beautiful birds come with the small ones in these regions. They are known to feed on only a special type of algae which makes the color of their feathers pink. Birds like the mallard, the gadwal, the whistling ducks are seen to migrate during the winter time in the various water bodies of India. The bar-headed geese are also seen migrating to India crossing the huge Himalayan mountains. The duck beaks have bristles that look like teeth. When the duck puts its head into the water, it is actually collecting a chunk of the water along with the food in the form of different small insects. When it takes out the head out of the water, the water drains from these bristles, leaving only the insects in the mouth of the duck. There are many regions in India that are protected for the benefit of the local as well as the migratory birds. These have large patches of shallow water. <coughs> Many birds make these regions their abode because of the benefit of the shallow water that they have. The black stalk bird that is found in the regions of Assam takes the advantage of such shallow waters. Its long legs and the equally long beak can help it to catch its prey very easily. Crabs are also one of the foods that the birds have. There are many birds that eat crabs. However, the larger birds that have long necks and pointy beaks are the ones who can have it easily. This adjutant stalk was seen to feed on a crab. The beak acts as a fork and stabs the crab shell so that they can get the crab meat. The raptor birds are the birds of prey like owls, eagles, hawks have a speciality of great eyesight. 
the eagles can spot a rabbit from around two miles of distance. They have a curved beak and strong talons that can lift the prey high up in the air. Another smart bird is the bee eater. It faces the sun in the early mornings and in the late evenings. This helps it catch insects easily since they appear as a dark shadow against the sun. At the night time, in the moonlight and in the darkness of the forest, you may hear a hooting sound. The owls that are nocturnal come out at this time to hunt. They feed on mice and other such type of small mammals. They swallow their entire prey whole and hence they take a long nap after that during the daytime. Many a times birds are seen to feed on thorny caterpillars. To avoid choking and hurting themselves, these birds use a very unique technique. Like in this case, the blue magpie had caught a hairy and thorny caterpillar. The bird was seen to first hit it on the branches trying to remove all the thorns and once it becomes safe to be eaten it will use it as its meal. The monsoon season in India is important for the various insectivorous birds. This is mainly because Insects are abundant in the rainy season. Food availability being better in the season, the breeding and the parental care of the small ones can take place with ease during the season. The male baya weavers use their architectural skills to construct beautiful nests. This is done to attract the potential mates. The female baya weavers critically examine the nests. If they find it suitable, only then they would go ahead with the mating ritual. To please the female, the baya male may land up making several nests in the same area up to the satisfaction of the female. The small ones of every bird species are quite demanding about the food. They need to be continuously fed. Like this painted stalk small one was asking its parents for food. In some bird species, both male and female contribute to parental care, like that in the case of this purple rumped sunbird. If the fecal matter of the small young birds is left inside the nest, it could damage the health of these young ones. For this, there is a beautiful arrangement. The excreta comes out in the form of a small bag-like thing which is collected by the parents and thrown out of the nest.
Many of the birds of the flycatcher family are seen to build funnel shaped nests. In the winter months of India, the northern regions become quite cold. But in the southern parts of the country, the climate is still warm. This is quite suitable to the birds in the category of herons, stalks and like. Many of these southern parts of India act as the breeding grounds of these birds. These birds come in flocks and settle on trees, constructing a nest to breed and feed the new generation. These areas are called as heroneries. The Rangana Tittu near Mysore is one of the heroneries famous in India. Hundreds of birds flock in this area and construct their nests. Pelicans Painted stalks Open build stalks All are seen to nest in this region There is ample supply of food, water and nesting material for all these species. The swallow birds have a unique technique of constructing mud nests. In the northern regions of India, at the Himalayan foothills, there are huge trees, almost 100 or more years old, and they have huge tree trunks. These are required by the great hornbills for their nesting. The great hornbills themselves are around 3 to 3.5 feet. With this size, the tree hollow that they require is definitely huge. Due to the diminishing size of the forest and the felling of trees, these hornbills are losing their habitat of nesting. Some birds are seen solitary, some in pairs, while the others are seen in groups. The raptor birds are generally seen single except for the mating season. The smaller ones like the pigeons are often seen to be in groups to protect themselves from predators. Each of the birds have their defined territory in the area of residence. To mark their boundaries and to tell the others about their existence, they often give out calls. Like, the, at the end of the busy day, they are seen to come back to the place that is called as the roosting area or in other words their home. During the mating season, there could be performances made by birds to attract the females. The one that is loved by all is the dance of the peacock bird.
India holds such beautiful and varied birds. Some of them, however, are now on the verge of extinction, like that of the great Indian bustard. Excessive urbanization as well as farming is leading to the habitat loss of these beauties. All humans should realize that these beauties are not just any other creature, but they are an important part of our ecosystem. If they thrive, we as humans also will continue to thrive on this planet. Otherwise, the extinction of these beautiful creatures means the extinction of even the human race.